it just breaks my heart to see families separate. As Russia continues its bombing and attacks on Ukraine, Irena Shevchuk worries about her family back in her homeland. Today, she heard from one of her friends and one of her cousins, who both asked if they could send their children to North Texas to stay with her. And I'm just devastated to hear stories like this, where families have to make a decision to send their children away for two months, three months, maybe a year, who knows how long. At Dallas City Hall, Mayor Eric Johnson gave the Consul General of Ukraine, Vitaly Tarasyuk, a copy of the resolution recently adopted by the city council condemning Russia's invasion. The Consul General gave the mayor the Ukrainian flag. This is a humanitarian issue. This has ramifications, I think, for freedom and democracy around the world. And I thank Mayor Johnson for his leadership, for his moral compass and supporting Ukraine from the day one. The Consul General of Ukraine met with members of the Ukrainian community here in North Texas yesterday, and people who were there said it was a very encouraging meeting. While there are no details yet about how soon Ukrainian refugees will arrive in the U.S., Shevchuk says people here had questions for the Consul General. How we can host families and when refugees are coming, what can we do, how we can help as a community. She is among the volunteers at Yuki Style Embroidery Art in Dallas, where profits are going to the people of Ukraine and where they're collecting humanitarian aid and medical supplies to send. In Ukraine, they all are ambassadors of Ukraine here in Dallas. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.